So friends, this is the Jefferson. A very famous photo happened right here, although the facade has changed some. Another very famous photo happened right inside there. Maybe there. It may, I think it may be this window right here, so we're going to look, which is Gators. A lot of amazing stuff happened here. This is Richmond, Virginia. A lot of really cool stuff happened in Richmond, Virginia. It was right here. Stay tuned. So a famous picture happened right here, friends. And it's raining tonight, a little bit sprinkling, and it's nighttime. I just want you to give you a look of what this looked like at night. We'll come back tomorrow during the day and finish these lineups. Yes, indeed, we will. In the meantime, we're staying here, so we're going to go inside and get our inside shots. Stay That's tuned. Right. Yeah. He'll be stopping right here. That's where he was walking. Come on, team. Beep. Beep. <laughs> and they have uh, gators here. Alligators once lived in the marble ponds that surrounded the Thomas Jefferson statue in the Palm Court lobby. The last of the alligators, old Pompey, he called the Jefferson home until his death in 1948. Local legend says that rich monders would bring pet alligators acquired on trips to Florida to live at the Jefferson after they grew too large to be kept in sinks or bathtubs. Pretty incredible. Amazing history. And that's why they call that shop Gators. So look at this, look at this, look at this. Hey, 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 now. It's crazy how beautiful this place is. I'm going to show you Elvis in this room right here. He was standing right about there. And we're going to walk down there and look. Just a beautiful place. So if you come here and you check it out, it is a numero uno. And there's some photos on the internet that say that Elvis was here eating in the restaurant and you're seeing the ceiling of the restaurant. That is actually in Chattanooga at the train station. That is not here. These ceilings do not match up. So friends, if you look right here, we're in Richmond, Virginia. You see it's a very, very busy street, so I gotta be careful. But if you look down in there, you'll see the tops of some of these buildings. This happened right here. This is the Jefferson Hotel. Now you can see that the facade has changed. The, the overhang has changed. It doesn't say Hotel Jefferson on it anymore. In fact, this is not even the entrance anymore. But you can see that there was a manhole cover there. Where that manhole cover would have been is right around where this tree is at. So Elvis would have stepped out somewhere right about here and gone in to the Jefferson Hotel right here. We've gone right through these doors with Gene. And you can see that there, the bellhop is helping him. You can see it's a taxi cab. It looks like a 55 Chevy right there. That happened right here. Now the facade, as I mentioned, looks different. But that was right here. Right in here. Now let me show you a little little tidbit. I'm gonna fast forward right here real quick. So you see this, but I'm gonna fast forward to the next photo. Trey found this. Globe trotting with Trey. Elvis got in a taxi cab. This is the photo. And I'll stop so you can see it better. He got in a taxi cab right about here. And the reason we know that is, look in the background, Earl Theater, Earl Hotel, I mean, was right there. There's a photo of the front door of the Earl being about right there. So Al Wertheimer would have been somewhat at this angle and seen the hotel looking up the street. You can see that it goes uphill. That photo happened right here. The other photo happened right down there. 
Now let's go in and check it out. You want to? The Jefferson. So something Trey pointed out to me is look at this. That looks kind of like Elvis a little bit. That has a very Elvis look. Wonder if he noticed that. That is above the grand ballroom where the famous photograph happened. Right there. Yes, it did. We're going to go down and I'm going to show you where Elvis was standing right there. Where they entered the building was right there. And I've already shown you them coming in from that side. So we're going to talk about that. Stay tuned. So friends, Elvis and Gene would have come right through this door. They parked right out there. I've already shown you that. They'd have come through this door. They would have come right in here. And I'm sure Elvis looked at this place and thought, wow, look at this. Wow, look at this. He went right over here. And you know how I know? I'm going to show you how I know. Look at this photo right here. That is Elvis and Jean and a young lady standing right there. And you're going to have to wait to see the young lady. That'll be a video from Trey because Trey might have actually talked to her. But Elvis was right here. He was standing right about there. Now how I know this is, I'm going to point out something in here. You see there's a light there, there's a light there, there's a light there. So it's three lights. Now count them. One, two, three. He was right here. I'll show you the photo again. One, two, three. You see him? He was standing literally right there, right here. Somewhere like that right there. And he was looking at a guy right here, kind of like Trey. Excuse me, sir, can I uh, help you? I want to check in, baby, and I've got my cousin with me and this chick. Has anybody ever told you you look like um... Was that singer from Memphis, Tennessee? Marlon Brando? Nah, I don't think it's Brando. Um, Carl Perkins. Carl John, Perkins. Johnny Cash. Cash. Johnny Cash. You look like Johnny Cash. Yeah, I get that all the time. All right, that will be, uh, let's see, $15.48. That sounds good. I'll take it. You're paying for it? Yep. <laughs> Gene's paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, friends, he stayed here, left here and was on the Steve Allen Show. I know you have seen the footage where he is with Andy Griffith and Imogene Coca and he and Steve Allen and he's dressed as a cowboy. Uh, what was his name, Trey? What? what is his name? What? Oh, Tumbleweed? He was Tumbleweed, Tumbleweed that's right. Yeah. And he shot, he shot uh, uh, some candy at the end. That's right, and he actually kind of was working on his script here right in there. for Steve Allen yeah. in the coffee shop that is right over there. We'll deal with the coffee shop because it's not open today. It's gone now, sadly, but there's a lot of photos of Elvis in that coffee shop. A young lady came here that Trey actually got to talk to, and she walked in that coffee shop while he was practicing his lines for that particular show. That happened right here, literally right over there. Elvis spent a lot of time in that coffee shop. There's a lot of photos of Elvis in that coffee shop. And we will work on that later. Stay tuned. If you come to Richmond, you got to stay here. It's amazing. So, friends, we saw this from Elvis's perspective here. Now let's see it from the guy that checked him in's perspective. He would have been back here. The guy was right here looking at Elvis. Now, he wasn't this high up. You can see that this is actually a restaurant, a place that you can eat and sit and hang out. But Elvis was standing right here. Gene was right there. The young lady was standing right there. So this was his view that day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Those were actually hanging here. Those are original. This place is absolutely beautiful. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, it is. So now I'm going to show you another little something. The 
these phone booths that have real working phones. Elvis would have made phone calls in a place like this right here. Now he would have obviously been able to use the phone in his room, but back in those days, a lot of hotels didn't have phones in their room. They had phones out here. So he would have used this telephones here. You see those are elevators. Now let's go over on the other side over here. They have a little museum talking about the people that have been here. And the things that happened here. And I want you to look right there. That is Elvis sitting in the coffee shop. And that is cousin Jean right here and the young lady. And it says Elvis in the Jefferson Hotel coffee shop where Gators is located now. And that's Elvis standing at the desk where you saw him. A lot of history here. A lot of really cool history. John D. Rockefeller, Henry Ford, Charles Lindbergh, Zelda, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Teddy Roosevelt, Admiral Dewey, Moshe Diane, Ronald Reagan, and Elvis Presley stayed here. Eight. Two, I think. Two, isn't it? We yeah. stayed on eight last night. So look at this elevator. These things are real ornate. I don't know how old, but ornate nevertheless. We're two, right? If I remember that right. Two twenty three. Two twenty three. You sure? Yeah. Well, that's the other way. We didn't go like this last time, did we? That's two twenty three. We're not two twenty three. So we didn't even recognize our own room, right? I didn't. Yep, look at that bed. That is gonna be good right there. Yes, it is. So I just saw another little fancy touch. Let me turn this on. So with these lights on, you can hit that and it'll turn the light on and off. You can also hit a privacy button or you can hit a service button. Service will get the people to come. That will turn all the lights off, except with the lamp. Nice. Friends, it seems like the rain is chasing us. We're up in the room. This is the top of the part when you're down in the lobby. Elvis was down there. That photo, is he was literally right about there. That's the roof. And that's the front part right there. So that's the very front. So he was actually outside. There's a photograph of him out there. So we'll, we'll deal with all that. So friends, this is the front door of the Jefferson. When you came in, there was a coffee shop and the coffee shop was in this part of the building right here. It's Gator's gift shop now. But the photos that I'm gonna show you happen in this room now. Of course, it looks completely different now than it did. But this is the spot and this is a really, really, really nice gift shop. Look at this place, absolutely beautiful. And I came in here and got coffee, by the way, just like Elvis did. And a really really nice gift shop and this is the spot the counter would have been this way so those photos that you see the counter would have been this way in this room this is the spot 
right here. And this hallway was always here. You can see Trey there studying. And they said that they ate at a restaurant and then they crossed the lobby and went to the coffee shop. And this right here would have been the restaurant over here. We're gonna see if we can get in and stay tuned. See a light. This would have been the restaurant area, and then they would have crossed back to the coffee shop over there. So this right here would have been the restaurant area that they were in. And you can see that they're using it, not using it as a restaurant at this moment. Still is on one over here. It's really, you can't make out anything in that photo. There's just a doorway. Yeah, but this is the room right here. Same space, same yeah, direction. and then they would have gone through there back to the coffee shop. So friends, there's a photo that I'm going to show you of them leaving this door right here. Check this out. It happened right here. Yes, indeed it did. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.